you're, you're half right. You're half I'm right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, again, Tinker can BOT on the bear. Lone Druid plus Tinker has always been really good together. You just march the tower and the bear just hits the tower. It's really hard to defend. You can also TP onto the yeah. bear and then bear can survive through it Chronos. Can, yeah. through and Chronos and no anti-mage, of course, now. It would Ten be like a suicide pick. And DC doesn't have very good bear solutions either. Um, yeah, they, so they don't, don't want to Chronosphere it. The Lone Druid right, himself is very tanky. Well, no. For them to be able to get more than just a support after they rotated so many heroes top and there was... Oh! Move. Managed to get himself a leap away. General's got to be careful. He's diving into a tier one tower here. He's got the backup of Dendi. He's going to start throwing down those heat seeking missiles. Will be able to get uh, more damage oh. on Moo enough to be able to finish him off. And that ultimate from the Winter Wyvern just does absolutely nothing. Now they're going to be able to catch Soxa as well. An early Supernova just to make sure that Digital Chaos are not. This is a oh, good choice. Still... Oh, no, Moo. Good force staff. He's going to be able to find him a little bit distance. Unfortunately, Sunray's still there. They have the rockets coming in. Nice. Winter's curse. Now the follow up. Beautiful Chronosphere. Setting all of this up. They're going to be able to pop hard style inside of the Chronosphere. General, who's already blown everything he has. Doesn't really matter if he goes down, but it looks like he will end up going down either way against Wii. Now the lone Druid Bear actually burning a lot of these heroes from. Hmm. <laughs> Just poking at Na'Vi, but obviously they have that pipe, so it's not that big of a deal. Looks like Winter's Curse is going to be able to come in, catch the Dark Style unaware. Oh, boy. It's ripped apart by Dichira and General. The Supernova now goes down just as a little bit of zoning. Weeha may have to be the target. Good for staff wise, a little bit of time. The Gerber Cave still not enough, as now the Sunray burning through. Digital Chaos Misery is going to be going down. Resolution will be able to get that time walk away, no problem. And Na'Vi turn their attention right oh, back to Rose on Soxa. Oh, he's going to be caught. Sliver Cave. TP out, who actually goes for it, but not able to get the Aegis. Managed to get the leap out, turns around, throws out the arrow, catches General. With their lineup, and weren't trying to pressure Navi too much, but they really didn't want to be behind at this point. And now they just have to keep on giving up. Uh-oh, there goes the Cyclone, going to be able to catch the Tinker into the ultimate there. As Resolution quickly surrounds Dendi, but not getting enough damage out. The arrow actually doesn't land. Dendi going to be able to get some rearm and tries to chase down. No, actually jumps up. Z's Misery is the opportunity. Gets a slight stun, slows him down with the Sheevas, gets some more burst damage. Misery gets taken out just like that. Now the jump forward, Soxa is going to be going down as well, right outside of Digital Chaos's face, which means Navi goes straight for the Tier 3. Oh, they could get great. After. He's really far forward, so he's not going to see this initiation. He managed to get to the two supports in the back, but doesn't get Digi Raw. And now the Primal Roar goes forward, stopping this damage. Art style he's going to be taken apart eventually, but DC have already grown so much. Is it actually going to be worth it? They need to be able to take out the Supernova. They're dressing oh, it down. The laser comes through, but it's not quite enough. The BKB goes through on oh. Resolution. And Misery falls go down from a combo laser from Dendi. Soxa has to save himself, but it's not good enough. Dendi pounces once again. The Rocket's able to take him out. Triple kill for him. Right, Resolution. <laughs> <laughs> Need to be able to uh, catch this Tinker, and unfortunately, Dendi's just balling out of control here. Yeah, this bear is just a monster as well, so you have to deal with either a Tinker or the Spirit Bear. Oh, well, they're doing a pretty good job of dealing with the Spirit Bear, it seems. They almost finished off the laser. He's going to be able to put a stop to Tinker. They actually get a Chrono Spear oh, in. Tank. They're trying to go for General, trying to take him out before he gets out the final roar, and they can still get the Spirit Bear as well. They actually get a, a Winter's Curse on top of a Deafening Blast. They're putting out damage, but it's not doing anything just yet. Now the Supernova goes down. Looks like Digital Chaos should be able to dredge it with their two supports in the back, dealing the damage. Art Style's going to go down, and Dendi has a Bandit Ship, or maybe not. He's actually coming back, back in. in. He's going to go for the Shivas, try and see if he can find somebody to pop. Moo's going to be the target. It's, he doesn't have the pounce away Sorry. just yet. Just catches them ever so barely with the Shivas and the laser. The follow up is able to take that kill. No supporting crew whatsoever from Navi here. We have to stop their aggression. In fact, they're going to lose their Spirit Bear. And if they're not careful, they may just lose Ditchy Ra as well. Yeah, Weeha. they could definitely catch him here. Yeah, yep. Juke his way through this one. Shivas starts coming in. Oh, Dendi okay. puts himself right in the middle of everything. Goes for Weeha, takes him out. Now Misery is going to be open. And Dendi jumps forward once again. You're not going anywhere, Misery. You slow down. You're going to be nuked to death here. Doesn't give a damn about those matter with A little bit more as the Bloodstone <laughs> kicks in. Enough for Dendi to finish off the kill. And as we hear the Marana in this. Unfortunately, Roshan is not up. Maybe it's fortunate oh, for Navi yeah, because they might actually get caught here. A pincer move. They do see. They have the scan. Mm -hmm. They spot this one out, oh. but the arrow just landed on the low druid. That's a bad start to this fight already for Navi. Move right in the middle of things, starts getting some damage out. Supernova is going to get popped there, and the tornado actually slowing down the damage. They now try to address this. Oh no, it's just a split damage. The Supernova successfully goes down and just things falling apart now for Digital Chaos. And Dendi takes Dendi advantage don't. of the chaos. He's able to blink, catch the Weeha, going to be able to get the side to fight, and chain, chain, chain him down as we unable to be one able more. to get away from this one. Another side, make it. 
get three with the laser to finish them off. Digital Chaos lose four. An arrow to start things off on a lone druid. You thought it would fight. Just want to stall a few more seconds and they can have that spear bear and essentially be at no disadvantage to jump in on Misery. Socks up, blinks himself forward, thinking to be able to counter initiate. Doesn't find the opening. Meanwhile, Moon's going to be the target. Hold of Rage is going to buy him a little bit of time, but Dendi, he's actually just a city dog until now the Chronosphere comes in. They're trying to just Dendi. They do get the Supernova, but Dendi, he's a tanky motherfucker. And he's going to be able to survive through all that. Dendi and now has to rearm, turns, gets the side to fight. He's going to be able to take out Resolution. Two buybacks from DC and two heroes down. Two more they're going to have to buy back, especially. I believe they more. lose Weeha. Dendi is going to be able to slow him down with a Shiva. Unable to get the vision though to be able to see him out. And don't tell me Dendi's going to be caught here. The Winter's Curse with no, the Meatball right in the ground. But there is vulnerable. It doesn't do anything but Dendi. He pops the blood. Don't commit suicide. 45 seconds to clutch. They're going to be able to get the Lone Dru or the Spirit Bear as well. But that's just not enough. Digital Chaos, a nap. Got to be first in something, right? Well, that's harsh. I don't know if I'm going to be let back in, in the room if I answer you. <laughs> <laughs> Resolution. Oh, he got to Dendi. It's like right into that one. They're going to be able to deal with our style first. He's gone. Dendi. It's going to be going down. Quick still to get the blade on the resolution. Actually, it's also enough. Dendi, though, hit by the tornado. He's going to come back down to ground. So very harsh reality is now. I have no idea how this Navi's going to be able to survive through this one. It's a beautiful with the first finish catch. Art style and general. The no sundry goes down really well. Moser is actually ripping him apart. Now Dendi buys back as he sees the opportunity to catch more. He's going to go for the rearm. Blink Shiva's. Constantly oh, Moo being spotted out. Embers are barely the fight. Gets him in the end, and Moo will be controlled long enough for them to get that kill and maybe for some buybacks. <laughs> Moo doesn't have one. Weeha does. Weeha will have to buy back here. He really should. He didn't have to use his refresher in that fight as well, so he's ready for a big fight. If they can catch Dendi somehow. I think there's no way he's going to be holding on to this. Yeah. The pressure. Oh, maybe oh, he's the the general. Holy God. cow. Mystery hurts quite a bit now. On DC, knowing that DC have an opportunity to be able to go for some sort of end game scenario, but if they play too aggressive oh. and get into the wrong side, White General's gonna be able to jump. He's got resolution, already controls out. Now Tenego gets right in the middle. Thanks, really great tornado. Definitely glass goes down as well. Weeha, Supernova laid out. Resolution has to deal with that one first. And now General's right in the middle of things. Can't, the one. Can't kill the egg in time. That means now Weeha's gonna be stunned up. BKB activated, but he gets smashed up. Daphne Glass goes down, hits Denny in the background, but Denny manages to blow up resolution. The Daddy goes into play. And here comes the buybacks. Oh, the arrow! Moo, he hits it on Dendi. DC, they get the ult, but they're not gonna be able to follow that up. Boy, he's so scared. He doesn't have BKB ready. He can't go in. This can be everything they need because oh, he's got even, three damage shielders behind him. Even the Enchantress can deal and top yeah. trying to go in. BKB being used for this. Okay, low Druid. Guaranteed tier three. And it looks like maybe even a melee racked with this BKB as they wow. just can't stop it fast enough. Now, here comes the Chronosphere. It's on Tichy Raw. This isn't big enough, but maybe they can kill him. Oh, now there actually goes the Supernova. They managed to be able to buy time to be able to get the save. That's going to be a full refresh. Nah, Raw. Heals up the full off of that Supernova and Digital Chaos have blown their BKB. The split the blast onto Art Style is going to be able to get the one off kill there, but Digital Chaos still don't have enough guaranteed win this fight. As now Navi start coming forward, Digital Chaos all low. They're going to have to give up their melee racks. There goes that counter item to Tinker. It's all the Tinker onto Dendi. DC. They've given up a lane of racks, and now they just need oh, to get back to battle. Bash? But now he gets bashed up. Weeha managed to get a save there from the cold embrace, but they got the roar on him. He has to go back to the mountain terrain, right, heal himself up. Actually, push it forward. Definitely flat. Takes out the bear. Ginger now going for Ditch your boss. And he's still trying to help out, but he can't just stop it. Then he comes in, pulls up one, going for another one. Misery, he's going to be target. No, he just bashed up. There goes that agent. Misery still down. Ditch your boss. He has to barely heal himself up with a team. He's still going to go down. Oh. Then he's right in the middle of this ray arm, trying to stop it, but no. He ends up going down. Now two minutes on the clock with Bro, no buyback. The chase is going after General as well. Just Move. trying to catch more. He's trying to get it. Shadow Five Blade. more seconds. Shadow Blade TP out. Point Arrow blank arrow will stop that one, but they don't have the vision. They're trying to be able to catch this. And, and speaking of smokes, here comes Navi. Navi in a very interesting position to be able to catch Digital Chaos as they just may push a bit too far oh, forward. They see them. Oh no, they're actually in the high ground. Oh. They see the four. They know Navi's close. 
and they just need to see the opening. Gentle gets the jump on a move, but immediately the Cola Brace gets laid out to get the Supernova. It's on the high ground too, but it may not affect the fight. It's Resolution managed to get the Chronosphere. Three he doesn't have the metal mana. He can't actually pop it. He gets the BKB in secondary time, and it doesn't matter. He's being ripped to shreds by the Bashers. Now the Winter's Curse comes in to save him, but it may not be enough. They managed to get the Tinker. He's down for two minutes and a half. Digital Tab oh, Racer going to be able to win this fight. Here comes the TP in. They're going to try and put him win this one without the ultimate Chrono. Chrono. Resolution stops this jump in. Tinker still has an opportunity to be able to come in and try and wipe out a couple of these heroes. Here comes Denny. He's in mode. He blows him up. Stocks is up next. Bye bye, Bernie. Next up, General. They're trying to find more. Dendi, he's not going to see anything else. Digital Chaos managed to keep both oh. the Void as well as the Invoker alive, and they still have two buybacks. That timing for Dendi's buyback to come off Ooh. cooldown. He's like, just let me come back into the fight. <laughs> he's bad. Capitalist. Come to Harsh. We'll see whether or not he's able to get off that second double run. Chrono Sphere because it's obviously going to be needed. Buyback will be down for Mu in this next fight. His positioning also going to be rather key as DC have to hold the high ground. One lane rack, there goes the jump forward, Chronosphere, then it gets four! Oh my god, Resolution! Now with the refresher, but again, it doesn't have enough mana, but still, they have the Deathly Blast, they're controlling Digi Raw beautifully, but the Supernova on the other side of the cliff, and Ango clutches it in a moment of despair, as now Digital Camp gonna lose one. Misery's already down, blown up by the Dagon here, and now the fight slows down. Digital Chaos retreat back to their high ground, while Navi do the same. Mu jumps forward and gets... Navi to being in. Oh, Eha! Did he just catch him? Dendi is going to be right on top of that high spot. Rest of the rearm, but now the Chronosphere in his turn catches Dendi. And yeah, they're going to be able to take him out for two minutes and maybe force the buyback. He does he have buy the Spare Bear as well. They managed to get the Abyssal Blade onto Soxa. Dendi. Last of tournament as well. So much on the line. You wanna... Oh, Resolution makes the jump in. They managed to get the Chronosphere on it too. Focusing down Digi Raw first, but remember that cheese is going to be able to come into play. The Supernova actually managed to catch it once again. Save the low throw while Dendi tries to middle of all these heroes. They get the Winter's Curse on it, but also damage stops the damage from that Meteor Blast. And now Dendi has the opportunity me. to go back through. That Winter's Curse might actually kill Misery. They managed no. to get another Chronosphere. And now the Meteor Blast over the top. They managed to take down life number one of Dendi. And Sinego will also fall. But now Dendi's back. And he sees the opportunity to be able to end this game outright, but maybe he's too far forward. Resolution, he missed all the seven drawers. He gets them off on Dendi. Dendi's still trying to back himself away. This puts the back a little bit more. Resolution going for it, but the side of the bike. A little bit more damage. Baby, baby, Resolution. He just needs a block with the lightning to finish Dendi off, but he gets it. He gets the Dendi kill. No, Dendi still dies. He has the buyback ready to go, and so does Resolution. Meanwhile, the bear is chasing now. Socks up, but Dendi Ra's going to go down first. Oh, God. The arrow actually brings down Dendi there as Moon. Precisely fires it off, but not really, really far. Well, compendium predictions. Yep, 90 plus. 90 plus, almost 900 CS for the Tinker. Yep. Doesn't get crazier oh. than this. Double blanks in, triple blanks in, DC! Oh, they're grasping in the dark for anything to be able to seek out Navi, but Navi already back in the pound. They're gonna go straight for the throne here, trying to threaten Navi as speedily as possible and force them into an air. Here comes the Chronosphere. They're catching out Tanako, but the Lone Druid's right in the middle of everything. Going for move first. The Refresher goes out. Primal Roar on the Weeha. They get the ultimate on him, but they're controlling him oh. well enough. They get the kill. That's gonna be the Divine Ranger on the deck. Now mass buybacks. DC threatening to be able to try and get back out of here to be able to save anything here. Resolution. It's gonna be a target. Supernova goes down. And now a Chronosphere. It wins everything but the Supernova. The Supernova will go down. Yes, sure. But Navi are still oh, in good running. control here. The Fair arrow comes out. Are still. He's he gets caught, right. but they're going for the throw. DC, you're in trouble. No, they're Navi. They've taken their tier fours. They're feeding on the throne. Oh my god, they're gonna they're do they're it. Done it. Navi has done it. Navi has played the group. 4 0 Diggy out DC and a 2 0 sweep and they go oh, for the throw. Look Navi are back, baby! Those are some big smiles after that. 91 minutes, 27 Whoa. seconds, and it came down to that. A TP into the enemy base. Dear God. There is no question.